All right, so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but this is probably going to be the start of the vlog that I eventually do when I go to these parks. But I'm already planning my trip to CoasterCon 2020. Now, the tickets haven't been put up yet, but I'm kind of putting together a road trip plan for summer of 2020. This will be towards late June, and they're going to announce all the dates and everything like that a little bit later on. I've never done a CoasterCon before. I am just so excited, and I can't wait to take you on this adventure with me as 2020 looks to be an amazing year for some of these theme park trips that I have planned. So, this is going to be the first one, which is a big Pennsylvania road trip, and I'm excited to take you along for the ride. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. Over 75 million people in New York, California, Illinois, and Connecticut ordered Here to we stay... we go to Stacey Butler live outside Disneyland, where that park is shutting down. And Stacey... All right, it's a cold April day, and I just had to film this because um, the world is going insane right now. We, we've been in lockdown for, God, I feel like a month now. Coronavirus is now here in the United States and there are lockdowns. Theme parks aren't opening right now. There's no timetable set on when they're gonna open and it's looking like CoasterCon is not gonna happen, which is super um, disappointing. Um, I get the, the obvious reasons for it. Uh, it's just, it's a bummer, you know, when you plan for something and, and this was a trip that has been on my mind since middle of last year. Things were starting to look really good for the 2020 season. I thought this was going to be one of the best years for my channel and all the content I was going to film. And then, of course, this happens. And so it's just a weird time right now. But, yeah, it just sucks. Um, but looks like no Coaster Con. Hopefully, it is rescheduled. I guess we'll have to find out. All right, so... It's in 2021 now. I don't know when's the last time I tried to film something for this. Hopefully this vlog that's supposed to come out of me doing my first ever CoasterCon Ace event. Back in 2020, I was supposed to go to CoasterCon 43, which was gonna take us through a lot of Pennsylvania parks. Most of those parks I've never been to before, but it got canceled because of the coronavirus. Well, we're here in 2021. Things are looking a lot better, thank God, because it, it was a just a horrible year. And it's looking very likely that Coaster Con 43 is finally going to happen. I'm getting my tickets soon. After last year, I need I need a, a big roller coaster trip to help me out. But uh, yeah, I'm excited that this is finally going to happen. I was worried that I was never going to be able to post this video. But unless something happens, I don't want to jinx it. But it looks like it's going to happen. And so hopefully I will be sharing my experience finally with CoasterCon 43. And just to quickly go over the plan for that week, the first park I'm gonna hit up is Kennywood on day one. That day I may go to uh, Waldemere to try out Ravine Flyer 2 if I have time. I'm gonna try and work that in on day one. Days two, three, and four are all gonna be spent at Hershey Park. That's part of CoasterCon. Then days five and six are gonna be at Dorney Park. I may take one of those days and head over to Great Adventure. Still don't know, we'll have to see. But then we also have on day seven and eight of the trip, I think I'm saying that right, day seven and eight is supposed to be Knobles. Now on day eight, I may just drive back home that day. I may stop at Kings Island or Kentucky Kingdom. I don't know, it's all up in the air, but those are the tentative plans for this trip. So join me on this journey as I go through Hopefully I go through the Coaster Con road trip. All right, day one of the Pennsylvania road trip is here and I am at Kennywood. I don't know, that's a pretty bad shot of Kennywood, but it started, it's here. The rain has held off for now, but it looks like we will be getting hit with some rain this afternoon. I did also check the weather for Erie and it's about the same. It's, there's gonna be some chance for rain at around uh, eh, 1, 2 p.m. today. I'm gonna play it by ear, we'll see what happens, but it looks like, fingers crossed, we're gonna get the morning ERT in and hopefully, I haven't seen it testing yet, but hopefully that includes Steel Curtain. I know on the itinerary it includes Steel Curtain, but obviously it had some issues last year. I wasn't able to ride it. And that's the main goal is to at least get on Steel Curtain. I'd like to get on Phantoms again. And uh, I think Thunderbolt is the other credit I'm missing. And so is Exterminator. So trying to get those as well. But yeah, I think it's time to get inside and start off this theme park road trip. <laughs> Yeah, 
like the turtle. Maybe they'll switch ERT from Phantoms to uh, Exterminator if it rains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're starting off our day at Racer and hopefully this opens though we haven't seen it testing at all so <laughs> hopefully steel curtain is ready to go if you would like you can unbuckle the Okay, so this credit escaped me the last time. I am determined on getting on it, and good thing it is actually testing, and it looks like the ride will be hopefully open. Uh, Racer was good, uh, very fun, always. Uh, our tram one, too, by the way, but I, right now the focus is getting on uh, Steel Curtain here. Alright guys, your bars are coming up. This is on purpose. Do not be alarmed. Please let them go off. Alright, so I just did uh, steel curtain for the first time. That was pretty fun. For a coaster that's focused on inversions, uh, you don't experience a lot of like strong positive G's. And the uh, inversions are pretty snappy. It's a, it's a fun ride. It's nothing too crazy or too scary. The airtime moments are more floater airtime, I would say. But overall, it's just a really fun experience. And it's a long ride. And if you know me, I really like those long rides. So um, that was really enjoyable. You definitely get your, your money's worth for the ride. But um, I sat in the back row. I will say there was like a weird vibration that happened the whole time. Um, it was more of a massage than it was like a headache inducer. But so it was a, a pretty cool ride, pretty cool experience. And I'm glad I got to do it. And um, I'm definitely getting in line to do it again. I want to do a front seat next time. Also pretty excited that that was coaster credit number 107. They just closed down Steel Curtain because of weather. So uh, we're going to head over to Exterminator and ride that. But glad that I got my one ride on because if it's closed for the rest of the day, at least I got on Steel Curtain. <laughs> All right, so this is our adventure at Kettywood. <laughs> Surviving the rain <laughs> on this narrow piece. I'm soaked bag soaked uh yeah typical rain credit here for uh kettywood let's hope it passes and we can get on some rides it looks like it's just a quick thunderstorm at least from what it looked like but uh we said that about 30 minutes ago i feel like and it's still raining on top of this exterminator is also closed so yeah we're just we're just chilling here all right so we just did the whip in the rain that was uh that was an experience <laughs> it was kind of cold kind of rainy but uh now we're going to Noah's Ark. That's indoor, right? That, okay, yeah, so hopefully get out. It's like, I'm looking now, it looks like it's even pouring more down over here. So uh, we're, we're trying to make the most of a rainy day here at Kennywood. All right, so I'm being told that I need to ride the turtle here. Uh, and what the advice was to not hold on and just let it flop you around. So I don't know what experience I'm about to, you know, enjoy here, but I'm ready for it. All right, I'm ready for the turtle. All right, so uh, I just did the turtle and uh, we just let it have its way. And it was uh, probably the most intense ride of the day. I mean, that was more intense than Steel Curtain. I, that's what I would think. But uh, yeah, it was a fun ride. It's fun to do all the little uh, flat rides here now that it's raining. So hopefully things start opening up. We saw people on Phantom. So of course we're gonna go and get our ride on Phantom's Revenge. All right, time to do Phantoms. All right, we just did Phantoms and that was sick. The double down is like the most painful but most awesome double down that there is. Uh, we are headed over to Exterminator and hopefully it's open. I see people standing outside. This would be a new credit if it's open. So we'll see here. All right, it's open. Time to do Exterminator. All right, so new credit in the books, Exterminator. That was a, a pretty wild ride. It was just throwing you around and 
it was all dark and enclosed. It's probably like, it was way better than Rage and Cajun that I rode in Great America when that was open. But uh, yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. I hope to do it again before we leave today. But now we're gonna go ahead and get some food. All right, so just got some food in. They're doing announcements, but I'm actually leaving and doing a little risky fun trip. I'm gonna go two hours north to Erie, Pennsylvania to check out Waldemere and get on Reviewing Flyer 2. Now there's a little bit of a catch here and that is it's still raining here uh, at Kennywood. It looks like it is raining also up north in Erie. I may have to like turn around halfway if I don't think it's gonna clear up. Just check the radar and it looks like it may clear up as I'm arriving and I only have an hour to be there because then I have to come all the way back here for uh, ERT at 9 p.m. It's crazy, it's weird, but you know what, why not? I don't know how often I'm gonna be up here in Pennsylvania to check it out, so uh, gotta, gotta do it while I'm here. So headed to Waldemere now. All right, so I am on the road trip to Waldemere. I'm only about uh, 30 minutes out now, so almost there. It is starting to rain, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, but it looks like maybe it'll clear out hopefully here in the next hour, so I may have to sit in some rain for 20 minutes. I decided, since I have nothing better to do because I'm just kind of sitting here driving, um, is I would do the first trivia question of this trip, and that has to do with Waldemere. And the question is, in what year did Waldemere open? Is it A, 1896, B, 1926, C, 1936, or D, 1956? All right, and the correct answer is, a, 1896. Yes, the park has been open for well longer than 100 years. And I didn't know that until I was studying uh, some trivia questions for the trip and I was like, wait, Waldemere has been open since 1896? Uh, it's a crazy fact. Uh, I believe figure eight was the first coaster that opened up and it was in 1908. Someone can fact check me on that. But yeah, figure eight was one of the first coasters that opened up here. And then it's also home to the original Ravine Flyer, which opened in, I believe, 1926, somewhere in the 1920s. Sorry, I don't have these, like, Waldemere facts memorized off the top of my head. So now I'm going to ride the Ravine Flyer 2, uh, which opened up in 2008. But hopefully the rain clears up, and the next time you see me, I am about to get on Ravine Flyer 2. All right, so I have made it to Waldemere. It is raining. Um, I just got, like, a 20-point card and I'm hoping that Ravine Flyer 2 is running. Uh, looks like a lot of the other rides and coasters are running, so I'm hoping Ravine Flyer 2 is one of them, and I'm walking over there now. So, let's see. so I just did Ravine Flyer 2, credit 109, and wow. It, I think the best way to describe it is like it's a mini, it's a mini voyage. It's basically, if you took the voyage, you cut the length in half, and you tamed it just a slight bit, but it's got the same feel. It's very aggressive. It's got really quick bank turns. All the elements hit you in like seconds. It is just fantastic. It's got some really cool tunnels, just like the voyage, and I just wish, I just wish Gravity, somebody's yelling behind me. Uh, I wish Gravity Group would have made more of these. Like, I, I'm surprised there's not more of these out here in the United States because these rides are just so good. Like, I like GCIs, but I don't think they match the aggressiveness of what Gravity Group does with these coasters, with Voyage and Ravine Flyer 2. I got uh, some more rides I gotta get in on it, but I wanted to stop and just say, like, wow. I bet this thing kicks butt at night. I wish I was here during the evening because in the dark, I bet this thing is, is hauling. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna go get on it again. Oh, it's just now pouring. Oh, this next one's gonna be a real rain ride. Um, okay, that was one of my favorite roller coaster rides of the year. Up there with Voyage Night Trimless. Up there with Voyage Night Trimless. Oh my gosh, it's best ride, it beats Voyage. Not because of its aggressiveness or that it's a better ride than Voyage, but the rain ride was just intense. Like, one of the craziest. <laughs> like, I thought Orion rain ride was crazy. This thing was painful. It was 
soaking wet. Like I am just drenched here. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm sure my, my microphone's all messed up, but I am doing it again. Look at what just happened to these people. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. There was all this water in the swing and it just drenched these people. That was amazing. <laughs> Alright, I am headed up to get my second credit of Waldemere and probably my last one unfortunately because rest of the rides are down is Comet. So let's do it. Alright, just got off of Comet. That was a really fun ride. It's a, a mini fun classic wooden coaster. You gotta love those classics here. Um, I sat in the very front, so it wasn't rough for me, but I'm sure if you sat in the back, it was super rough. But I want you to see here, it is pouring again. So I'm about to go venture out in the rain. Ugh. Well, I was gonna try to find some place to eat, but I think I just wanna get out of the rain at this point. I've been in the rain pretty much all day. So uh, very fun trip, very short trip. I think I was only in the park for less than an hour, uh, but I got to do what I wanted to do, and that was Ravine Flyer 2, sick coaster. Um, I would love to get back out to this park and just try it again, even if it's just for a half day, just to get the ride, the stuff that I missed. But uh, I think it's time to get back to Pittsburgh and get to Kennywood for some ERT on Phantom's Revenge. All right, so I just did Steel Curtain and it is running so much better than it was like a minute ago. Uh, There's like no line for it too, so I'm just gonna marathon Steel Curtain, but it is running a lot better. I, I, it's definitely grown on me. I'm gonna keep getting some more and uh, I'll let you know if I keep that opinion. So I think this was just supposed to be an eventful trip because um, I stayed on Steel Curtain and got four rides. It was awesome rides. Like the ride got so much better toward the end of the night, but then we get to the break run and we stay out there. And then a ride out comes out and tells us that, you know, we're going to be here for a little bit. And so I'm sitting here like, crap, I'm supposed to be over at ERT at nine o'clock. And I've obviously already missed a little bit of it because I stayed on Steel Curtain. I'm like, how long are you about here? So it's like nine, almost 920. Um, so it, <laughs> I'm going to at least catch the tail end of ERT, but I'm going to like sprint over to Steel Curtain or not Steel Curtain, uh, Phantom's Revenge. All right, let's get it, ERT. Let's see how lit it is in here. Not bad. All right, so just got done with ERT on uh, Fans Revenge. They ended at 9.45. I could have sworn and said it was till 10, but uh, they're stopping at 9.45, so. But regardless, I mean, I got enough rides. It was crazy. Uh, front seat, fun, but completely bug filled. This bug's hitting you in the face. Uh, the air time, ugh. I can't wait to do my full review on it. You've heard my thoughts before on it, but at night, uh, it's even better, so. But yeah, anyway, this is going to do it for this vlog here today. Uh, the day one of the big Pennsylvania Coaster Road Trip is done. Uh, the next episode you will see will be me at Hershey Park. I don't know where I'm going, uh, but it will be me at Hershey Park first time ever, hopefully, 
that is the next episode you see because if not something happened but anyway as always thank you so much for watching this video uh thank you to all my subscribers out there uh, without you all this trip probably wouldn't have been possible so i just appreciate the support um and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button because i'm gonna have some reviews from this trip tons of content coming up um but yeah i think it's i think i've done enough talking enough walking i think it's time for me to go to bed so i'll see you guys later take care uh what do i normally say stay safe and have a good one bye guys oh my gosh i am here at hershey park i cannot believe this it, the day has finally come